all of this stuff is is incredible. The fact that you know we've become that we we've become conscious within this universe and got to the point where we're able to understand as little as we probably do. I mean, as you, as this book shows, just in the last hundred years, thinking's moved so far on, and we're still not really you know we. We know a lot more than we did, and we've got photos of black holes, and we've got we know a little bit about them, but we still don't know everything. But it's just, I mean, I'm just marvel. We never talk to any any scientist in any discipline, really. If you see someone who knows about the brain, the idea that the brain can investigate itself and find out about itself, mm. but the idea that we can know so much about the universe and be able to see back to you know. Not to quite the Big Bang, but pretty close to the Big Bang now with these telescopes that we're, we're, we're looking into the far reaches of the universe. It is sort of just, it's absolutely mind-blowing, isn't it, the kind of knowledge that we have. we have. Well, it is. I mean, if, it's because the speed of light is very, very fast, you know, uh, but, but not on a cosmic scale. It kind of crawls across the universe, you know. So it's rather like, imagine that the speed of light was, I don't know, 100 metres um uh, a century. That would mean that if we if we looked a hundred meters away from us, we would be seeing people in nineteen twenty four. Yeah. You know, a kilometer away, we'd be seeing the Battle of Hastings. You know, uh, you know, three or four kilometers away, we'd be seeing the, the building of the Great Pyramid. You know, and that's what it's like in the universe. So, so on the on the on, there is no such thing as now in the universe. We cannot know what the universe is like now. We, you know, even the moon, we only know what it was like one and a quarter seconds ago, the sun eight minutes ago, nearest star about four years ago. But what nature takes with one hand, it gives back with another. Because actually, as we look out across the universe, we see the entire history of the universe laid out in front of us, as you just pointed out, all the way back to the, the Big Bang, which is a which is a phenomenal thing. But when you were talking about what we've achieved, uh, we think that inside a black hole, uh, the, the prediction of Einstein's theory is we get a singularity. So, uh, uh, oh, by the way, I've never said that a black hole is just a region of space where gravity is so strong that light cannot escape, and that's yeah. why it's black. But as a and and, and we we think they certainly stellar ones. We're talking about massive stars that run out of fuel. I mean, everything runs out of fuel eventually, you know, and um, and, and then they've got, they no longer can create the heat pushing outwards to prevent gravity crushing them. And Einstein's theory predicts that they will, they will just get denser and denser and denser, their gravity more and more intense until everything skyrockets to infinity. This is called a singularity. And we know this is incorrect. It's just telling you that your theory is broken, you know, which is the reason why Einstein right. really hated it, because he'd only just presented his theory in Berlin in November 1915. And then a guy on the, on the, on the uh, Alsace front in the First World War, within about three weeks, had sent him a, a letter saying his theory is broken, you know, because it contains a singularity. So you can understand why he was a bit fed up. But, but, but we, so we think that, that, that what actually happens is we need a quantum theory of gravity to explain this, but we think space and time actually ripped apart so to get back to what you were saying you know we sometimes bash ourselves over the heads and 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 think you know we've created global warming and pollution and all these terrible things but sometimes i think we should give ourselves a pat on the back because you know we came down from the trees you know several million years ago a jumped up ape we've got a brain which is like i don't know one and a half kilograms of jelly and water but we've seen to the very edge of yeah. space and time and and that's absolutely incredible. And that that was only a couple of years ago where we got our first image of the black hole. So we've actually seen to the edge yeah. of space and time. So give ourselves give, give ourselves a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs>